Hello there and welcome to BNETTV.com. I'm Michelle Sklar. We are here at the CTIA Wireless Show and I'm joined by Renee Cruz of Mushroom Networks. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us. Oh, thank you. you are you uh, enjoying the show? Very much so. It's cool. uh, uh, very nice to see all the stuff here. Wonderful. So. Is this your first show? Uh, I've been to, yeah, first CT CTIA for, for Wonderful. Me. Awesome. Yeah. So tell us about your company. Uh, we are, a company called Mushroom Networks, as you just said. We are uh, uh, developing the concept we call network virtualization, which is kind of a mouthful, but you might have heard of server really virtualization. In the industry, what isn't a mouthful, actually? <laughs> <laughs> server virtualization, you might have heard of, where is where you know an application can be freed of the worrying about the actual physical, uh, you know, implementation of servers and just uh, be worry about a single abstraction they can deal with. With with network virtualization, which we're developing at Mushroom Networks. Uh, we see a, a general trend towards applications and users uh, having access to multiple uh, uh, multiple modes of connectivity, and we see uh, just moving forward that these applications and users uh, have a need to just deal with an abstraction of a network uh, that uh, that can put together all of the abilities of the networks that are available. Okay, so give us a real world example of how this works. Uh, we have, for example, a, our, our Entree product, uh, which we call the Truffle uh, 6401. It, it basically is... It, I love it, your name. Uh, Russian <laughs> Networks has the Truffle, of course. Wonderful. Yes, uh, it is a device that uh, users can use to combine internet access lines. So in this case, users have uh, access to multiple modes of internet access, and uh, give, our box gives them the ability to combine them in a one-sided way so the user can uh, just uh, order different types of internet access whether it be T1, DSL, cable and even without coordinating with the ISP uh, combine these together and we do a true type of bonding in the sense that uh, when you when a user downloads a file for example mm -hmm. uh, all of the resources, all the internet access lines will be used to download that file. So for example if I have six six megabit uh, DSL lines, we can download that at a rate of 36 megabits per second. Okay, so are you you have a, an actual box, if you will, so you're marketing this to consumers or to sort of more of an <coughs> enterprise environment? Uh, to enterprises, small and medium-sized businesses, to give them a more uh, choices for internet access. A lot of them have uh, uh, limit, limited choices. There are choices which give them higher performance, but they are, are, are much higher in cost. And so our box uh, allows them to, to combine things like, for example, DSL, uh, which is relatively low cost and has a high download speed, but pretty slow upload speed, uh, with, say, a T1 that has a, a more decent upload speed and higher reliability and also the voice that right. a lot of companies want. So, uh, for example, so. some companies will want to sort of expand their, their bandwidth, if you will. Right. And what you're suggesting is rather than kind of paying more money to expand that bandwidth, you can sort of take advantage of the DSL or the, the T1 or the right. different type of transfer, I guess. Of it's a, a common use case would be where a company has a T1 line and uh, it's there maybe have a PBX and some of it's being used for voice. And the ironic thing is that uh, the users, when they're inside the network, inside the office, trying to access the internet, they're seeing something a lot slower than what they get at home, right. and they're paying a fraction of what they're paying at the office right. uh, for a T1. And so with our box, they can put uh, our box in there without changing anything inside their internal network. That's a feature of ours. Okay. And they can add, for example, one or more DSL lines and get the best of both worlds. Okay. And that's a lot cheaper than upgrading to the next level of service, might, which might be a partial right. DSL. So we're sort of going after efficiency and cost effectiveness. Right. Okay. And I would like to, uh, you know, we, we have a uh, point out that we have a very generic technology and we aggregate anything. So what, one of the things that uh, one of our Truffle device can do and more generally uh, uh, we can aggregate uh, mobile uh, broadband uh, Internet access accounts uh, from the major carriers, for example. Right. Uh, Which, of course, is why you're at the show. Sure. Uh, and so, you know, with, for example, with our technology, we could provide the fastest portable internet access available anywhere 
by definition, right? right? Because we plug in whatever technologies are available and we're going to make whatever is available faster. And so we think it's a pretty exciting concept in the sense of, you know, if you look at mobile broadband coverage today, it's ver the dynamic range of data rates you can get is, is very high, Absolutely. including and, zero and, yeah, is a pretty, exactly. pretty you know, common it, number. We've been talking to so many companies <laughs> yeah, on the show right. at an actual fact about, um, about the importance of solid mobile uh, broadband in order to deliver the rich media content that so many people these days want. Absolutely. I just, just actually a half hour ago we were downstairs talking with a, a potential partner. We uh, demonstrated uh, with our box a, a down file download at 5.2 megabits per second. I'm sure no one else here has that uh, speed of a download. Right. You know, anywhere really. I right. mean, I mean, it, we really do have the fastest so you guys portable internet access. You guys uh, market? We are uh, exploring various. Uh, we, we are uh, going to market with this uh, on a direct case. We're also okay. expo exploring uh, licensing opportunities right. with more established partners, and so we are basically exploring all options to bring this to the market as, as soon as possible. Awesome. So we go to mushroomnetworks.com if we want to find out more Absolute, and talk Absolutely. To you. We would Excellent. love to. to uh, we are open to all sorts of business uh, par partnerships and, and exploring uh, things with potential uh, uh, people that we can do uh, good things together. Awesome. Think, so. Well, that's great, Renee. Thank, Thank you, you so much. We've been here with Renee Cruz of Mushroom Networks. We're at the CTIA Wireless Show, and I'm Michelle Sklar with BNETTV.com.